That's what happened when his mama died. And why did she die? Why did she die? Subliminal messaging letting her know that she was not good enough. Subliminal messaging letting her know that she was not good enough. How much you want to bet that her fucking death wasn't no accident? After seeing Kanye West at this goddamn table with Trump, how much you want to bet that her death wasn't no fucking accident? You take that motherfucker out, he has no more guidance. He gonna come right to us. leader of AO Nation and this is if you have not got your Are You Serious t-shirt shirt's going for 20 big face podcast snapbacks going for 25 understand you're going to have to have a uniform in order to be in AO Nation um Send your pictures. Send your pictures so if I can put that shit in the front, too. Um, a lot of y'all don't have fucking social media and shit like that. So go in the description box and go to the email and send an email and shit like that. And we'll get it like that. Um, label that shit something crazy so I know it's you with too many emails. I, I be getting. Um, look, man, Kanye West, um, we're going to have to use some conspiracy theories. Uh... I'm just going to run down like the top three things that uh, probably happened to Kanye West. Top three reasons why we just saw this shit go down at the at the, uh, at the the White House. For those of you who don't know what happened, Kanye West just went in the White House and did a Chicken George dance. Uh, he, he brought him some fucking pie or some shit like that. He brought him a gift or some shit like that. Like he brought him a, a, some type of fucking... Drone or whatever the fuck, like on some congratulations. Thank you so much for being great. This motherfucker said he told the nigga how he looked is how we look to the world, and maybe that's because I, I get to that later. But that's what he said. He said y'all don't understand. If he don't look good, we don't look good. Uh, go watch that goddamn interview. Go watch what Kanye said, and then you'll understand this list better. Um, because there was some weird shit in that motherfucker, man. Um, let's get on the list. It just, it's kind of sad to see, because it looked like a crazy nigga, and they know that's a crazy nigga. Because they're just white folks just snapping cameras, snapping cameras, snapping cameras. I'm no longer asking um, where is Kanye's people, because at this point, we understand that it's not the people, it's him. Kanye is going to be Kanye. If they kill Kanye, then that's what the fuck it is. But this Kanye is going to be Kanye. So regardless, like what you going to do, put your hands around him and not let him leave the room? Who's going to tell him what to do? Let's get to it. All right, number three. He's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's just insane. And... That's more of the reason why Trump greenlit this shit. Because they knew his mental state. They know that, you know what I'm saying? They know his doctor. They know what his doctor is giving him. Um, they have people around him who are vetting him. They've been playing this for a very fucking long time. Um, who knows what he's going to do next? As I said, um, what friends? Um... What fucking friends, you know what I'm saying? Like the, 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 the last motherfucker that we know was Jay-Z and, and Jay-Z had to get from fucking around because he can't be around that weird shit, whatever like that. Same shit he said about Drake. Um, but to watch Kanye be oblivious of what, like he's so far gone in Hollywood that he no longer has, any, he's so detached from what the fuck is really going on that he just really thought that that was 
the thing to do. Maybe his heart was in the right place, but you know what I'm saying? That's childlike. That's a child's mind to believe that you're going to go to a full-blown, full-blown narcissist, white supremacist, racist, like, you know what I'm saying? He hit, like, Trump himself is on medication. Um, so you got two crazy motherfuckers at a table together um, after Kanye had finished uh, giving Trump head. Uh, Trump said, look at this guy, he's great, that's great shit, I've never heard anything, you know what I'm saying, like, shit is sad to see, you know what I'm saying, because, you know what I'm saying, like, this is a nigga who brought us through the wire, uh, gold digger, or is it, or is it, you know what I'm saying, like, this this might be a whole nother nigga, uh, when he went in that motherfucker and said he had liposuction, I think that was a real good, uh, real good, um, red flag that maybe you know what I'm saying like why did you feel like you had to say that who would say that who would make it who the fuck would say I had liposuction who the fuck it kind of seemed like you trying to goddamn wipe away our that what I'm saying I get on this fucking camera and I just be saying some shit you know what I'm saying but why the fuck would you say that though as if you're trying to wipe away our questions. Any questions you may have, I'm going to answer it beforehand so that if this comes up, someone else can answer you. I don't have to answer this a million times. But why in the fuck would you say that? And you can, you can chalk it up to he's eccentric, uh, he's crazy, you never fucking know what the fuck is going on. But why in the fuck would a nigga say opiates... And liposuction is that is that because that, that seems like a great blender. Understand what I'm saying when I say blender. Um, if you're if you record music, I want to say this so that everybody can understand. But let me talk to my uh, my music people right now. If you're um, when you record music, you know how the wave looks. You know what I'm saying? Like the wave when you're recording. Um, if you cut that, if you cut it. And you want to blend another track, like you got a track, um, what is it, um, Alley Boy, Alley Boy recorded his verse on a Young Jesus song, um, uh, Alley's shit is louder than Jesus shit, but Alley's the main artist, so you're gonna get Jesus shit to sound like Alley Boy shit. What you're gonna do with Jesus shit is, turn it up to make it match that so you're you're blending the two tracks together now now they're blended so you can't really tell a difference between them but in this situation the act of turning up Jesus verse is the lord tab the the liposuction and the pain pills because that would explain everything beforehand I, got, I guess I gotta explain it to you better. Um, I just gotta tell you what's going on. They kill Kanye, but they have to. They already have a clone in place. There's already a clone in place, but the clone that they have is the old Kanye. They were they they they've been planning to kill him. You remember? Remember? Kanye was off the fucking scene. He was off the fucking scene. So much so that he had gained weight. He wasn't studying this shit. He went on this shit. Then he had failed to fuck back. But let's talk about plans. If I'm the government, what better fucking person to fuck with than Kanye West? Let's talk about it. What better person to fuck with than Kanye West? Once a person has been deemed insane, it doesn't matter if he solves the theory of fucking life. You gonna dismiss it? That's why I, I'm I'm telling everybody in AO Nation to go watch Shutter Island. 
and you watch it as many times as you need to, to where you understand the ending. To where, and at the end, should I tell you the end? I don't think I should tell you the end. But at the end, you should know whether or not he reverted back to his crazy self, or he just act like he was crazy in order for them to kill him because he didn't want to remember. You should know the answer of which one he really was. Um, but they explained it very well. You have to watch what the fuck is going on. Please listen to what the fuck I'm telling you right now. Watch what the fuck is going on. Understand what power is. Popularity and power Motherfuckers are extremely synonymous. Very similar. Hard to tell a difference. Hard to tell a difference. And social media has made it to where you can... If this motherfucker got 50 million goddamn followers on Instagram, and this motherfucker got 50 million... No matter what fucking walk of life they come from, these motherfuckers got the same amount of power. I can tell this many people to do this. Popularity and power. But Kanye West would be the best subject because of his potential power. If you use if you use his star power in the right way you can move people understand I'm trying to tell you something right now understand that this shit is all about Moving people. It's all about that. Videos, TV shows, music, books, politics. This is before you get to politics. Everything that you do in your leisure time, that you do without thinking about it, what the shit you watch, the shit you listen to, the shows you like. That's all about this shit. And it's not about... It's not about the shit that you see. It's about the shit you don't see. Um, an example would be it's not about the Super Bowl game. It's about the commercial that come on. That's how you get paid. Fuck the Super Bowl. The motherfuckers who make the money give a fuck who wins. They just want the motherfuckers, the advertisers, Budweiser, fucking uh, Smoothie King, Burger King, whoever the fuck, to pay those millions for those seconds of time. That's all that matters. It is that's what that is. It's subliminal messaging. Um, the way that I personally know that this works is because I've seen my daughter watch every damn near every fucking artist. That I can't stand. From Bad Baby, Lil Yachty, this motherfucker Juice World. You name them. But she does have that. And I, but I think that what she's listening to is the music. Because she, she, obviously she has a musician inside of her. I think she's just listening to the music. And she can't see behind the scenes of what, what these people stand for. These are just easy. Because they make easy music. It's It's... It's easy. It's not that far off. That's really what it is. This is. The intermediate version of Barney. And all those nursery rhymes. This is what it is. This is a step up. This is. And that's why they do it. 
That's why they do it. They make this shit extremely simplistic, like a nursery rhyme, and then they shoot it, shoot it, shoot it out, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it out repetitiously to where you will accidentally hear this song and you'll like it simply because of the melody and the easy to follow words. And from that, you look at the numbers, look how many numbers. So you think right there that they're popular. And we go back to popularity and power. The ability to move people. This is why you have such important and big people at the golf course. Feeding money to the music industry because they understand the power the ability to move people that's inside of that music. Whenever anybody went to war, they had a, a drummer. They had the war music and shit like that. The Pied Piper used music. I watched my child, my child, damn near say these songs word for word. I know this shit is real. There's no reason for her to like that shit. Except for the fact that the TV showed kids to like musicals. Like the theme song at the beginning of the fucking, you know, beginning of the show. Everything. Music is everything. From the time you come out the womb, they got the little, what the fuck, man? Who is this? And why the fuck does this goddamn screen keep getting so goddamn blurry? Okay. All right, I got you, big home. You straight? Damn, though. Um, they trying to throw me off, but I'm good. Um, The music, immediately. Subliminally, they're telling you this is the music that you should like. Why in the fuck else would my child like these motherfucking faggots? Why would she like that? Because that's what the children like. It's the same music they've been hearing since they was in a taiko. That little thing, that little, that little fucking baby carriage thing that swing the kids and shit like that. They got music on it. How much you want to bet that the same motherfuckers that's... That own Tyco or at that motherfucking golf course. Not only they're putting money in the music industry's pocket, but giving them the notes to their songs. We understand that you don't have to be an artist in order to make it. We just need somebody to say this shit that has a little bit of popularity. And from there... We become the Pied Piper and we can lead them in any direction we want to. Why, and, and we're not going to lead them to us. We're going to lead them over the fuck there. So that we can do whatever the fuck we want right here. It's the music industry's job to keep people fucking retarded and distracted. While the politicians and the elite do what they do over here. This is not a conspiracy theory. We're not doing the top three. Fuck that top three shit. We need to talk. They kill Kanye West because of his potential power. They see that he's falling off the grid. He's fucking insane. The doctor first prescribes him medication to do just that. Subdue him. And it did that. He got fat. Just walking around and shit like that. Of course, Kim Kardashian had something to do with that. If not everything. That's what happened when his mama died. And why did she die? Why did she die? Subliminal messaging letting her know that she was not good enough.
subliminal messaging, letting her know that she was not good enough. How much you want to bet that her fucking death wasn't no accident? After seeing Kanye West this goddamn table with Trump, how much you want to bet that her death wasn't no fucking accident? You take that motherfucker out, he has no more guidance. He gonna come right to us. Agent Kim Kardashian. <laughs> the American fucking family. All these motherfuckers work for these motherfuckers. Fuck that shit. We going that way today. Do it sound that crazy? Motherfuckers held up like the motherfucking... Um, uh, we need to talk to Ray J. We need to talk to Ray J and see what's going on. And Reggie Bush. And see what's going on. And see what they didn't see. Did you see anything that's suspicious? Around this motherfucker. Because we need to see what's going on here. Why the fuck Kim? Why the fuck Kim ain't saying nothing about... Do you think she would tell us? I want somebody to look deep into that goddamn jewel heist. Somebody look deep into that damn jewel heist that happened when they took her goddamn jewelry in Paris. Somebody look into that shit. Somebody look into that shit. But here's the thing. If you want Kanye, if you want his body, the same shit we do in Get Out, we want his body, you know what I'm saying, but we have a different agenda and shit like that, maybe this is what the fuck they're doing. Like, you know what I'm saying, this is, um, like, hey, and it's not working. Hey, black people... Come and support Trump. So they shoot the family this money to do whatever happened. Because whatever, when they killed them, they would have had to have, like, you know what I'm saying, inside help. So what better help than the fucking wife? From right there, just take that motherfucker, put this motherfucker here, coach him up, tell him what the fuck to do, send him out that motherfucker. This is going to work perfectly. Tell him that he, uh, uh, say that you were, uh, you got liposuction. We're going to pay the doctor off and, and have all the surgery files. And that's why you look like this. And, uh, he, we're going to give you a scar. And, um, tell him that you were addicted to opiates and that'll explain everything. So now if you have any glitches, y'all better listen to me. And I hope this video don't get taken down. If you have any glitches, then you can just say it's from fucking addiction. Or anything like that. That will explain any off type situation. And I'm just gonna get that, and we're gonna get a body up. Y'all make sure, cause I I I, I might just think about that, and y'all research that. Uh, Big Face Podcast. Make sure you hit that PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.